What's up guys, Joe Snow right here, so in today's video I'm going to discuss about another way of uh, signing yellow for one year with a one year certificate uh, that was uh, published on the internet and we're going to discuss about this zero store yellow 102 thing, whether it's safe or not and whether you should download it or not. Now remember when we uh, discussed about another uh, version of this IPA pre-signed with a uh, one year certificate that was available uh, I think on uh, Dropbox, yes, if you look at this video when I uh, raised this warning, the IPA was uploaded on the um, Dropbox. Now, there is another website that I came across and it's zerostore.co slash jailbreak. Now, the writing on the website is in some foreign language. I think it's Arabic or whatever Iraqi people speak because uh, the... Um, People is uh, the uh, man behind this is from Iraq, so I don't know what language he's speaking. But uh, as you can see, you cannot understand anything on this page if you're an English speaker. So uh, the problem with this website that you don't understand anything on them is that you shouldn't download things from a website you cannot understand. So um, if you try to press it here, as you can see, nothing works because as you can see uh, down on the bottom on the links, it is a link that actually downloads a uh, plist file, which means that it should install automatically on your device. Now, is it safe? Well, probably, but you shouldn't try to install this. I saw it a lot on the internet lately, uh, featured as how to install Yalu jailbreak without computer. And yes, this is how to install Yalu without computer. By navigating to that link, to zerostore.co um, slash jailbreak or slash JB on your Safari, it should uh, download the IPA uh, automatically. But there's a problem. See, look at the Desco is highly condemning these things. And uh, you can see he made a post uh, on uh, the 8th of February. And we discussed about that in this video as well that I made on the 9th of February about this version that was published on, um, on Dropbox. And it, he said that the TAR binary on, the, uh, on those free one year certificate jailbreak without computer is tampered with and you should avoid it at all costs. And later on, he made another tweet, um, tweet on 9th of February, and he said, unsurprisingly, the one-year certificate, uh, YALU 102, got revoked today. So do not go to this website pretending it will work and so on, because apparently the certificate is already uh, rejected by Apple, and even if it's not, or even if they change the certificate, there is still a big risk that this shady looking website is hiding a malware, a virus, a rootkit. Now we're talking about an IPA, but it's not a normal IPA. Normally, there are a lot of other stores that are not official containing pirated applications on the internet that people unfortunately use. But those contain IPAs that are for games or for normal applications and so on, which can't be really tampered with because of the protections that uh, Apple devices have. Uh, even if you would insert a malware inside that uh, IPA, without a jailbreak or without a powerful exploit inside that IPA, you wouldn't be able to infect someone's device. But now we're speaking about an IPA that contains a fully fledged open source jailbreak. And this is, it can't be worse than that because having the attacker having a full jailbreak with full open source code at his disposal means that he or she can jailbreak your device, do whatever he wants to do in terms of malware, for example, stealing your credit card information, stealing your passwords, stealing access to your um, accounts, listening to your conversations, and reading your conversations, and installing maliciously crafted uh, diamonds or libraries inside a device to, I don't know, to act like a uh, keylogger, for example, when you type passwords, you know, on Facebook or any other account and steal your accounts. This has happened before and um, it's not impossible considering the fact that the jailbreak Look at the Desco made is actually a rootkit and it's classified as a rootkit, even though the jailbreak itself has a, um, has a good faith it is still a rootkit, it's still like a virus acting, and if tweaked completely by somebody who whose main uh, scope is to actually infect you, it's pretty damn easy to get you with a lot of problems, even to break your device. For example, if I was to make um, a version like this, uh, I can easily change the code in order to break your device and force you into restoring to 10.2.1. So. Um, 
So don't fall for this zero store with Arabic writings in here and try not to download, especially because as you can see, it doesn't give you access to the IPA. I, I click on this, but I cannot get the IPA to analyze it, which means that the author might most likely want to not show what's the content of the IPA being downloaded directly on the device and only through Safari, it keeps the praying guys out of the IPA, probably he modified. I cannot stress it enough, do not get these uh, websites on your device, they're pretty damn unsafe. And as I say, look at the desk already made a, um, a tweet about this and he said, uh, well, not only one, a couple of them, and he said you should not do that. Now, I know that... Um, uh, Sorik, the creator of Cydia and Cydia Impactor, is working on something that might fix that seven days uh, certificate issue in the future. So try not to fall for all these strange looking websites, especially for those who do not provide an open source. Because as you can see, it's only the IPA in a protocol format, which means that you cannot download it on a computer and analyze it. You can only download it on a device where it's too late to analyze it. And they do not provide any open source with the modifications or at least with the certificate certificate. Uh, they have this probably fake uh, download count number in here, uh, which is definitely a bad idea to go in here. I don't I don't want to say that this guy right here who made the IPA is definitely a malware um, creator. Probably he's not, probably he's legit, I don't know. But as long as Luca Tedesco said you should not do that, you probably shouldn't. He knows his jailbreak better and he knows what can be done with that. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more about this IPA, strange IPA signing for one year. Uh, be sure to check out this video as well. I talked in depth about this problem in here and try not to fall for all these videos because I see the YouTube seems to be um, to be filled with all these videos on how to get Yalu without computer and there are more and more popular videos on that and uh, they actually promote exactly these things so you should be aware of that. Now uh, I will um, I will conclude this video by telling you that we are now having our own subreddit on reddit.com. It's called uh, reddit.com slash r slash central and here you can find our videos. You can also post your own information about jailbreak, iOS hacking, uh, or tutorials you have exactly as on the jailbreak community, but you can do it right here and we moderate it. We're also seeking up a brave moderator for this uh, community that we created today. So be sure to go in here, subscribe to the community, also subscribe to the channel, and you can comment on the uh, Reddit in here and tell us what we should do next or if you have any problems. So yeah. Be sure to check this out and be sure to stay safe and avoid all these sketchy things because it's simply not worth risking your security and your important information from the device for that IPA thing. Peace out.